Hello and welcome to TechRoz. It is great to have you joining me in this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk how to use Trust Manager for troubleshooting Windows issues. Indeed, the Windows Trust Manager is a tool that shows you which programs, processes, and services are running on your computer. It also offers insight into how the PC is performing. So in this video, I cover how to use Trust Manager for troubleshooting Windows issues. To access the Trust Manager, you can use the keyboard shortcut. Press Ctrl, Shift and Escape to open Task Manager. Or, or the second way you can open Task Manager by pressing Windows and R key to bring up the Run dialog box and type TASK Task MGR, which does the same thing. This is the proper Task Manager of the window that you can see. The Task Manager includes many tabs, Processes, Performance, App History, Startup, Users, Details, and services processes the processes tab lists program running in the windows this includes apps or programs as well as the background processes the background processes are related to services which i will get into in a moment you see the details and statics for each processes for example this is where you spot a program with the memory leak or when the program is stuck and won't quit, you want to quit it normally but it won't go away. To quit the program, just click the program and click the end task button. Then it sends the quit signal to the program to quit. When the program is stuck, this is how you can quit the program. The performance step. The performance step tells you how the PC is doing. You see statics and live updates for CPU or processor, memory, storage or disk and ethernet when you have noticed that the pc is running slowly meanwhile you can see that the cpu activity is high if so you can return to the processes and see the cpu performance when you see the program is consuming more of your cpu if you don't need them you can easily select and end task that program the app history tab the app history tab displays the list of frequently used programs including information on each if I sort the list by CPU time, the computer shows which programs I have been using today and how much the computer's resources these programs are consuming or using. The Starter tab. The Starter tab lists the programs that starts when the Windows is loaded or when you sign in into your account. These are also called background processes. These specific programs are shown in Processes tab as well. If you want to test any of this program to see whether or not it is is causing problem you can disable it by clicking on the program and disable the program if the program you're experiencing stops then you know the program was to blame to enable the program select the program and press enable button the user tab the user tab shows any other user signed in into your system for most pieces there's only you when anyone else was logged in or you switched any other's user account, their name would appear on users list here. To switch user, you can choose the user from the start menu. Choose any account name and then choose account from the list which is in Windows button. This feature is not commonly used on any PC. The details tab. The details tab lists all the running programs and processes in the computer. Everything include Windows on programs. For instance, here you can see the SVC host programs, which does a lot of things for the Windows. For each thing it does, you see an entry for SVC host. Most of these programs are listed in the Startup tab or Processes tab. Finally, the Services tab. The Services tab lists options that control what Windows does and how it behaves. The services themselves are run from various programs listed on Details tab, which are also related to other items shown in the Task Manager. Actually, everything is related, but in Services tab you see individual duties. If you want to check the details and mask with them, just select the Services and Open Services. Here, the Services Management Console lists services by name plus description. 
The list here is sorted alphabetically. The status tells you whether or not the services is running. The startup tab tells you whether the services is startup upon request automatically or has been disabled. In fact, about the only time you make adjustment is when you are directed to do so. For example, you might be directed to disable the services for troubleshooting purposes. Otherwise, you don't need to disable or enable any other services because it will affect your PC performance. Press escape key to close the task manager. Thanks for watching and please make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel.